Hi everyone, how are you? So this is me trying to make my water fountain with, with the stuff I have at home again. I usually have a lot of stuff sitting at home so most of the time I don't have to buy it uh, at store. Uh, since the excess stuff which we use from others like projects or stuff we have uh, sitting at home so I wouldn't say this uh, fountain is perfect because it was just a tryout I wanted to check uh, how it's gonna look um, so in the future I'm going to make it more perfect looking and um, just paint the table and have a background but for now this was the look uh, for the nighttime in our backyard so this uh, these bamboos I had sitting again and I just cut the middle and just put them in these holes so starting with this tub, I had this sitting at home, just an excess uh, thing. It had a couple of holes. Um, I know I wasted stuff on this tub, I could have had a better one, but I just didn't want it to go and buy a new one since I didn't want it to waste money during pandemic and just wanted to reuse everything I had at home. So most of the things I'm going to show in this whole uh, process were at my house and I didn't go for uh, like to buy them at the store uh, these stuff my husband uses uh, for his work so I had excess stuff sitting um, I just sealed all the holes with flex seal and so the water doesn't uh, pour out my whole point was just to experiment my fountain and how it's going to look it's not about extra perfection just some um like spending my time on something what i like uh, to create things so i wanted to check out this um granite stone material I'm not sure what's the exact name but I had this sitting at home um, so I just wanted to use uh, this and finish it but it was hard to just create a wall around a tub uh, I wanted to give it a stone look so I tried my best to first put this uh, stone marble material on it and then I used a little bit of white paint to cover up the extra spots and then a little bit of black spray paint. I am going to put these lotus seeds in the fountain so to make it more realistic but it's gonna take a bit time. So now I'm filling the water just to see um, how much it will fill and if the holes are still sealed. So rocks for decorations, pre-washing them because they were sitting in my garden and not that clean. So I put my fountain in it and started to uh, try it out. So after putting the plug in, I saw bubbles. So this fountain was bought from Amazon as you can see and but I realized later I can just go to Home Depot and get the fountain at the same price so I don't know why I did that but hopefully it's more powerful than that and I used these um, sticks in the beginning to tie up the tub because it was spreading uh, because of the weight of the water so uh, after cleaning and putting the bamboo sticks around it I filled up the tub again and uh, just try out the pump again to see if it's working 
and then we go for the top decorations and for this I had a hole sealed actually there were two holes I had to seal one um, and then I painted the whole thing with white to just go with the look black and white and uh, I painted the like that's a planter like uh, I don't know what it's called but it's for keeping the water inside it so this one I painted black and and black and white is mostly my theme in this whole process since I only had black and white paint sitting at home and so after they both dried out I started gluing them to each other and I tried putting on the this thing to protect the fountain from materials and so it doesn't get stuck and block the fountain <clears throat> now I'm gluing some rocks on this black uh, plate I will say so as you can see the fountain was working but a bit slow probably the motors power is not that much but I'm still satisfied with it I will do changes in the future uh, to make it more better but for now it looks nice so my whole point of creating a fountain was the sound of water so my husband helped in that and we just put a table on top of that tub and the, the table had holes so the sound of water like expanded it felt like a waterfall so that's what I was going for and I'm glad we got that okay it doesn't sound like a strong and huge waterfall but it's like a continuously falling raindrop or I don't know how to explain it but it's the soothing sound of the water which I was going for so I am actually glad I can hear that every night in the evening when we sit outside so I love sitting in my backyard and at night time I want it a little bit like a smooth look which makes me want to just stay there so a bit of lighting and sound of the water and a good sitting place with just a beautiful corner that's probably the beautiful evening for me so I'm actually glad because I am more attracted to the sound of water than to the look right now uh, but I will update it later and fix a bit of things which includes painting the table and giving it a background like a kind of like a mountain look or maybe a shrine look I'm not sure yet but eventually uh, it will get updated thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe